Okay, this is chapter 11, Introduction to Construction and Woodworking Math portion. And this chapter we're looking at area and volume. So the objectives here determine the area of squares, triangles, and circles, and then the volume of some rectangular solids. Okay, so the first thing is really one dimensional space, which is just a linear measurement. You know, something could be three feet long. And then from one dimensional space, you go to two dimensional space. And then two dimensional space will be X and Y. And now you're say three feet long by two feet high. So in 2D space, you got to multiply the base times the height and get six square feet. Okay. So one dimensional, you're just going to have feet. Two dimensional space, you'll have square feet. And then in three-dimensional space, you have base times height times depth, uh, which is volume. And in this case, you'll have cubic feet. So let's say this is three feet by three feet by three feet. I have three feet times three feet. That's my base area, nine feet times three feet, 27 but I have feet times feet, feet squared times feet, feet cubed. Okay, so we're looking at area and volume, um, but the one thing I really want to note first is your units tell you if it's one dimensional, just feet, two dimensional area, square feet, or three dimensional cubic feet volume. So a linear measurement is one dimensional, it will only be feet, uh, area, is two-dimensional, it is square feet, and a cube or a solid is volume, three-dimensional, and it's cubic feet. So 1D, linear, 2D, area, 3D, volume, cubic feet. Okay, the way you find the area, so linear measurement we talked about before, but now we'll just talk about area. I want to find the area of a rectangle. It's always base times height, square rectangle. So I have, let's say these are inches now, six inches times three inches will give me 18 square inches. Okay. Area of a circle. Area of a circle is equal to pi R squared, so I have to have the radius. So say the radius is three. So the area of this circle is three squared nine pi. Let's say this is inches, inches squared. This isn't a variable. This is just, whoops, I'm a little too low here. This isn't a variable. This is just a number, a number 3.14. So I can multiply that out if I want. Nine times 3.14 or I could approximate it at 27 square inches. Okay, let's look at, um, so we have areas of rectangles, base times height, area of a circle, pi r squared, triangle, area of a triangle is base times height divided by two. So if I have a base of three, and a height of four. Area of this triangle would be three, let's say feet, four, three feet times four feet divided by two, 12 feet divided by two, feet times feet would be square, would be six square feet. I have kind of a compound shape made up of a rectangle, a triangle, whoops, and I don't know, a semicircle. I could find the area of that whole shape by splitting it into its parts. So let's say this rectangle is six feet by four feet, and the altitude or height of that triangle is three feet. Area of the rectangle would be base times height, 24 square feet. Area of that triangle would be base, which would, if this is six, this is six. So six times three, 18, divided by two, nine square feet. 
and then let's say this is a semicircle. This is four, half of four is two. So area of that whole circle, right, area of the whole circle will be pi r squared, where r is equal to two, so four pi. I'm just gonna round this to 12. I'm gonna round this to three times four, so 12. So area of the semicircle would be half of that, half of 12 or six square feet. I add all that together, 24 and nine is 33, 39, and I have 39 square feet. So that would be the area of that compound figure by splitting it into parts. Okay, so a few things in construction and woodworking as well is if I have one square foot, right, so if this is one foot by one foot, but remember that's going to be 12 inches. Four. Get the idea, right? I won't draw them all out. But if I'm 12 inches by 12 inches, I can see that one square foot is equal to 12 times 12 inches, 144 square inches. Okay, an acre, it's good to know an acre um, is 43,000, I think 520 square feet. And usually you think of a quarter acre, you just round to 10,000 square feet. An eighth acre is a 5,000 square foot lot, plus or minus a little, because I rounded here. Okay. Um, Okay, let's just take a quick look at volumes of solids and cubes. So let's take a look at a rectangular prism like this. So it has a base of six and four, and it has a depth of say 10. All right, so let's say it's 10 feet deep. Volume is equal to base area, base area times height. So in this case, the base area, the volume of this, is the base area is 6 times 10, 60 square feet. 60 square feet times a height of 4 feet. So the volume of this, by the way, the, the volume of this is 240 cubic feet. So again, just kind of summarize this, knowing area, Knowing linear measurements, area and volume are essential in construction. Doing volume all the time when you're ordering concrete. Um, you, you call it a yard, but it's actually a cubic yard, which is one foot, I'm sorry, one yard by one yard by one yard is, when you order it, you just call it a yard, but it actually is one cubic yard. And the cubic yard weighs just about a ton. And it's also three feet by three feet by three feet. Three times three times three is 27 cubic feet equal one cubic yard. Okay. So let me just run through this one last time. We have one dimensional space, which is a linear measurement. Just gonna use a tape and figure out how long it is three feet, say. We have two-dimensional space, which is area. You're going to do base times height to find the area of it. Three times five feet will give you 15 square feet. And then you have three-dimensional space, which is volume. And now you do base times height times depth. And that'll give you cubic feet. So if I had five times four feet and six feet deep. I have 30 feet times four or 120 cubic feet. I keep track of the units is really key.